everyone, welcome to the makeup section of the Beginner Guide to Gyaru video series. In this section, we're going to be covering everything there is to know about Gyaru makeup. So as I mentioned in the introduction of this series, there is a lot to do about Gyaru makeup. There's everything from eye makeup, lashes, circle lenses, contouring, blush, lipstick, there's a lot. So in this particular video, we're only going to be covering the eye makeup. Check out the other videos to learn more about face makeup, contouring, lipsticks, and more. In this video, we're going to be discussing what our favorite lashes to use are, as well as our favorite eye shapes, eyeshadows, and anything else that will help you achieve a Gyaru look. For the makeup, my favorite eye shape is uh, the droop eye, uh, like this. The lashes I use for this style is a diamond lash, and uh, sometimes I use those. And the low lashes I use is those from eBay. My favorite eye shape would be the droopy eye. I like it because it gives a cute look. Definitely you want your bottom lashes to have a lot of volume, as well as making your eyeliner darker at the bottom. Don't be afraid to use top lashes as bottom lashes. What I look for in lashes is the shape, as well as how much volume is in them as far as like more sparse or spiky. So I like for them to be longer at the top. I would say definitely bigger at the top, but not too small at the bottom. But you always do want the top ones to be bigger than the bottom ones, in my case. My favorite eye shape has always been, you know, a huge droop in the eye. But lately I've been liking the filled in droop and Definitely like the eyelashes I use. I usually just use like any spike triangle eyelashes from like eBay. I don't really use like the super expensive ones because I a bitch don't need to do that <laughs> when my lashes are like a dollar. I use the ones in 10 packs, but yeah, mostly just triangle and I stack them so that they give me a certain effect. This one is just one eyelash though. This first time I've only one more eyelash for the top, but that's because that eyelash is like all that I needed. <laughs> it was perfect. So I wanted to get that one. I don't really have too much advice on how I apply my eyelashes. It's pretty basic, um, unless you're doing stacking like I do. Then, you know, apply one, let it dry a little bit, and then put another one on. That way you can see, you know, how it's going to come off. And then if you feel like, you know, fixing it, just make sure, you know, you wait a little bit. Because I've seen a lot of gals who put it on too soon, and then you can see the eyelash glue, and that's just not cute. But otherwise, you know, it's pretty normal. <laughs> Eyeshadow, I usually actually just use a black eyeshadow or a gold. You can get those neutrals, maybe like a naked palette or just like wet and wild or whatever you feel like using, but mostly like neutrals, you know, black, brown, gold, beige, you know, stuff like that. Nothing too fancy. <laughs> How I keep my eyebrows up, I just pluck really. I used to shave them off completely, but I'm trying to grow my eyebrow hair in, but I'm starting to think it's kind of a, it's just a big hassle. <laughs> um, so I'm definitely thinking of just shaving them off again. It's, it's really not that important on top of that I draw my eyebrows on. I used to just want to fill them in and have that natural eyebrow look, but now, not so much. <laughs> my favorite eye shape would be the gear wing, or the so-called droopy eye. I love voluminous apple lashes. <laughs> For this look, I'm using Diamond Lash Angel Eye as Apple Lashes and I'm using them double. So the first one I glue on is um, to give my eyes more length in this direction. So to have a more, to have a longer eyelash, yeah. To get it up here to glue your bottom lashes better on. And um, the second Diamond Lash Angel Eye I glue on I put it more in the center because this one is for your eyes to pop out more so I put it more in the center and push it a little up yeah for bottom lashes I like to use the decorative play sexy number five or the decorative play cool number three I'm not wearing those at the moment but they are just some regular eBay cheap Chinese lashes they they work they all work <laughs> yeah a tip for gluing on lashes maybe would be if you're totally new to gluing on false lashes you should wait until your glue is sticky and dried a bit 
otherwise it can get messy real quickly, yeah. For eyebrows, I love to go with the arch brow, so your brow starts kind of like here with your nose drive and goes a little bit more up and then goes down again. Yeah, today I didn't manage to do this as dramatic as I wanted it to be, but you kind of get the idea. So I just don't like those bulky eyebrows, they're really not mine. Um, I personally shave nearly all of my eyebrows off because I'm such a pussy and um, kind of lazy. I just throw them back on with a normal pencil. I used to use powder or eyeshadow for it, but this fades really quickly and you just have to put your hand in your face and then it, you don't have any more, you don't have eyebrows anymore. So. Yeah, that wasn't really good, so I'm back to using pencils, and this one is good, <laughs> I think. I always do a droopy eye shape with a pointy inner corner. I use lashes from Eye Amazing and Diamond Lash. I like them to be more voluminous, so I glue at least two pairs together. My favorite bottom lashes are Sweet Eye and Princess Eye, they are also from Diamond Lash and currently I am only wearing upper lashes because sometimes um, bottom lashes look strange on me. When you apply eyelashes wait at least 30 seconds for the glue to dry and use a tweezer to maneuver them more precisely. I always, always, always use an eyeshadow primer before I do my eye makeup because my eyelids tend to get very oily and the eyeshadow will start creasing no matter how expensive it is. After priming I go over it with a NYX jumbo stick in milk, so it's white, and just blend it in. On top of that, apply a white matte eyeshadow. I use Gesso from MAC. Then you can do your regular eyeshadow colors and then they will appear a lot brighter if you apply a white base first. Uh, since my eyebrows are very dark, I use a light eyebrow mascara. I bought one in Japan, because where I live um, there are only very dark colors. If you have light hair like me, lighter eyebrows will look more garish. I always line my eyes with a liquid eyeliner. The highest point of your line should be should be over here. This should be the highest and the thickest point. Then extend it a little bit to the outer corner. Then I paint a pointy thing right here. And then I start lining my waterline until here. And then I paint my liquid liner just right here. It, it, it starts here in the middle of my eye and then I connect the two lines together, the upper eyeliner and this one. And if you want, you can create a eyeliner wing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!